not exactly ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down but first pitch is just around the corner tonight the opener of a three game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Cleveland Indians Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Mike Clevenger will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA, anywhere between three and a half and four, but I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right, and if he we does all those things, expect a real well, solid Andrew. performance in this one. Andrew. Now at the plate, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at bat on its way underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one fellas we check out the tribe as they begin here tonight they did get the win last time out but it hasn't been the best week first for them as they've won just 11. twice in their last six tries. Yeah Maddie a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team they won their last game they scored a bunch of runs and let's see if they continue that today. The 2 0. Three nope. and oh now. Wow, third pitch of the game. That looked like a pretty good pitch. If that's called a ball, it could be a rough night for the pitchers tonight. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A strike, and it's three and one. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count 3 and 2. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do work the count and get on base. And don't forget, he exactly. lost his last time out, so baseman. he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Digging in now, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Benintendi gets his lead at first nobody out. A little bit outside two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Set to deliver on two and one. Nope, at the ball. Never tempted to swing at that nope, ball down three. low it's ball three. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. The three and one pitch. A swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two. He's probably frustrated with himself now after swinging at what should have been ball four. Time for a deep breath. Runner back safely. Three two pitch lofted in the air out toward right center Luplo moving forward but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass but now a throw from the outfield will get him how slow can you be oh man good. I don't know how so that happened. happened looked to be a base hit to the outfield but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play to be honest that just can't happen.
Now with the plate, Mookie Betts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. the stretch fouled off runner at first here one man out off the plate one ball one strike bets who's often just referred to as plain old Mookie he was a fifth round pick back in 2011. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. Here's J.D. Martinez. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. Yeah, he's been swinging it pretty well over the last 10 games or so. Well over 300, and he's someone to watch in this one here. And he lays off there 1-0. Oh. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Now the three and oh offering is laid off, but in there for strike one. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. Yeah I think that's the idea Matt but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The three and one pitch three and two full count. All right three two count with two outs the runner on first will be moving so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Red Sox nothing. Tribe coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. David Price will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. And the next batter will be Mike Freeman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. An outside target here and he hits it for strike one guys this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight they do come in fresh off a of victory last time out but they've been giving ground in the division of late they've won just twice in their last seven games. Yeah Maddie this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now just had a short homestand able to say hello to the family kiss the wife tuck the kids in at night and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team that plays with today. Time now in Cleveland fielder. to take a glance at the Bradley. Tribe's starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I know these pitchers are going to be very careful when dealing with Jason Kipnis. You know, he's driving in a lot of runs. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 350. That tells me he thrives in those moments. He enjoys it. We'll see if he gets an opportunity to perform with runners on base in this one. 
And that'll bring in the San Diego product Bradley Zimmer. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. One out, nobody on. Two balls and two strikes to Bradley Zimmer. Hit hard to third. First, and the price is right here, two away. In now for Cleveland, third. Jose Ramirez. And he enters play okay. today, currently fifth in the American well, League in right. hitting. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bats. He can get on base, too. Now the first pitch here from Price. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Benintendi in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Indians go down one, two, three. Still no score. Second inning coming up in Cleveland, and with more on the weather forecast, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, unfortunately, the rain that we're experiencing now is not expected to go away, and it's likely going to get worse. However, the umpiring crew has told me they believe the game will get in, although a delay sounds like a likely possibility. Yeah, Heidi, thanks. It's not looking pretty, and guys will just have to hope the weather doesn't play too much of a factor in the outcome of this one. I think it is, though, Matt. And you got to stay focused as a player. There could be a couple stops in this one. The tarp might get pulled. You just have to keep your focus, stay dry, and stay ready. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. Here's how the Indians are setting up on D. And diving into the numbers on this team, the one thing that jumps off the page is the fact that these guys can flat play D. The highest fielding percentage in the league. Something to focus on today when you're watching this one. Into the box, Chris Taylor, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, well below down. the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. That looking back at his last start, he racked base up base nine 12. Ks, and now Brock. he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. Here's Brock Holt now. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The one two. Still one and two. Now another one two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. No score here as we play inning number two. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Now it's the all world all star shortstop Leading Francisco off. Lindor. Lifetime versus Not David shortstop. Price. Just a two for 14 line, so advantage pitcher here. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Bradley has it, and it's a quick out number one. All right, let's take a quick that look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's Jason. focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming. But the way he massages this pitching staff is should be your focus. So striding in, Jason Kipnis. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball. One and oh. Bottom of the second here with no score. That one's down around the knees taken for a strike. And in and this one sends him to the ground it's ball two I know the umpire balled that one right there but it was close enough he's going to try and establish that pitch in as an offensive player you've got to build that rapport with the umpire he can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate bounce towards the mound in time to first and there are two away So bases are empty here with two gone and into bat next the left handed outfielder Leonis Martin ready to deliver here's the first pitch and there's a strike right down the heart of the plate 0 and 1 two out nobody on. And it's one and one. Hit back up the middle. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Down in order go the Tribe. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Past history with Mike Clevenger. He's 0 for 8. Jackie Bradley Here it comes. 
And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. One gone here in the Boston third and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Here's the first pitch to him. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Called strike 0 and 2. Line drive to left. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. Well, we've mentioned now the conditions batting. aren't Let's ideal with the rain Andrew. coming down, and that can that make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball that gets the inside corner strike one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. There's a called strike on a changeup, not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Jordan Luplo, seven, eight, and nine to start the home Leading third. The Not much going on offensively right so field. far for these guys. Six Jordan. up, six down. We'll see if the bottom Whoa. part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, that's another nice two seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Behind 0 2 now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat. Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Here now is Jake Bowers. As Price starts him with a strike, it's 0-1. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's 1-1. One and one. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Now 
Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. Kevin Plowecki is on deck. The three-two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing. Our score. And a fastball misses there, ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Striding in for the Indians, Kevin Plowecki, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. One and oh pitch on the way. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next will be the designated hitter, Mike Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Here comes the 1 0. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. Now the 2 1. Hit out towards second. From his knees, the throw. Throw gets him at first, and even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. Any questions as to why this guy's a gold glover? Didn't think so. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. And he fouls this one off. The 1-1. One, one. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That was aggressive pitching and that at that. And I like seeing that. He now showed all right hard fielder. stuff until the fifth Bootman. and final pitch for the strikeout. Bad. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Here's Mookie Betts. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. The 1 0. Misses, ball two. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 0 oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. 
there's no question he's been struggling at the now dish bad. lately, trying to do anything to, to get himself Maybe. going. So he's got to feel Mark pretty good back. after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. In now, J.D. Martinez. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0 is a fastball that misses. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Fishing for that one. Two balls and a strike. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Ground ball foul down the left side. Betts, the runner at second with one away. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. A payoff pitch one more time. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with the one away. Two. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Quick step to the bag is not in time for the double play. The batter, the third baseman, Chris Taylor. Stepping into the box, Chris Taylor. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the run is Zimmer. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So stepping in, Bradley Zimmer. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Bradley Zimmer. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Now Price misses here on two and two and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. The 3 2 now from Price. Yanked on the ground down the line. And there's the first hit of the game for Cleveland. He'll get it into second. And the tribe will get a man to second base on the leadoff double. 
no doubt about it. He was looking now fastball battle. all Third the way baseman. there, and that's exactly oh, what he got. Got the barrel out here front yeah. and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Standing in now, Jose Ramirez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No runs, just one hit. No errors to this point for the Indians. Fouled away. Now the 0 2 from Price. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Holt is under it, no problem. One away. A man at second with one down. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Now the first pitch here from Price. Hit on the ground to third. Taylor has it. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number 22. Stepping in, Jason Kipnis. He's 0 for 1 Jason. after grounding out in his only Kipnis. trip to the plate so far. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch they'll try and entice him with a high fastball but he wouldn't commit it's ball one there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that nearly broke our scoreless tie instead it's a foul ball here's the one one lifted the other way out to left center waiting on it is Benintendi he makes the play and that'll end the inning one left for the tribe through four still tied nothing nothing. Welcome back to progressive field in Cleveland as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Well Matt I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across the game is still tied and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game and that they just need to stick to the process. All right Heidi thank you. Leading off for the Red Sox. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Well. Brock Holt looking Brock. to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. Yes, he pops Bradley the first pitch foul behind the plate. One run on three hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. That just ball, misses ball. off the inside for ball one. Some stirring now in the Cleveland bullpen. They'll get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing. The 1-1 home. 
is a slider taken for a ball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Bases are empty here, nobody out. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Lindor takes it in. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now that is standing in, Vasquez Christian Vasquez hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Bases are empty, one man out. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Now the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now that so the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate Andrew Benintendi. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. High in the air out to center field. After it is Martin. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up now. One nothing Boston. Welcome back to Progressive Field in Cleveland as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Thank you, Heidi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. The 1 0. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Betts has a read on it, one away. The right fielder. A little eight. bit over halfway home tonight. Jordan. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look Whoa. at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Now in the box, Jordan Luplo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit high and deep out to left. Benintendi ranging back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. So up until this point, the they've had to fight and scratch for every man. single thing, but he puts a good swing on this Bauer. one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. Ready for another chance, Jake Bowers, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. 
ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. And that misses one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. center field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, d because this outfielder has a very pitcher. strong throwing arm. Yeah, 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 when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, Whoa, that stuff they go me. over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. And it's fouled away. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Price ready with the 0-1. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. Bowers leads off first with one away. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them a fourth. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. And that retires the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We're through five here at the ballpark, all tied at one and one. Ready for another shot now. Dustin Pedroia, he'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. High in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. He's got it one away. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Mookie Betts, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just misses for ball one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. The 1-0. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 1-1. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. The one two. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. 
I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old now school, batting. new school. I the think I kind of stand it. right along that Gigi. fence. But one thing that gets me Martina. jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. One ball, no strikes the count. is on the move strike called now the throw down he is not in time pretty close but he got in there safely so they get a runner into scoring position now at second following the one out stolen base and you can see right there he currently sits second on the Red Sox in that category runner at second here with one man out And that one misses badly. It's ball two. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left and even 30 home runs on the year and the Red Sox have taken a three to one lead. Boy when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him especially with a pitch like this but they do and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Your Nick Whitgren please. will come on in relief now, now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the Number season. 62. Nick Whitgren. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. Line toward center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Well, this one now was batting. squared up pretty good, the but just like pitchers give up Rich. hits on well executed Taylor. pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And that ends the inning. So the Red Sox strike for two on the two run homer. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now three to one, Boston. Digging in and looking for more, Bradley Zimmer and Dan he and his fellow to top of the Four order hitters Indians. haven't really offered much help no for this lineup so far. Bradley. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you Never. look to, to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. Line drive to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So a productive start to the inning for the Tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Now batting, 
the third baseman. Okay. Digging in once Ramirez. again, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Has a look, now the pitch. In there, strike one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And he'll snap one over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. He's set. Here's the 0 1 in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now working for the punch out and the offering off the plate at 94 one and two you know he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going they need a rally so we'll see if he can spark one here Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bradley is there. And that's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Oh, one pitch on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Betts. And no one will track it down. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he misses there. One and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Here now the 2-2. Line toward the alley in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Now back, second baseman, Jason Kipnick. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He's set and the pitch. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Line drive to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Indians leave one. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back here in Cleveland, Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Oliver Perez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 39, Oliver. Once again, Brock Holt, one for Three two balls. in the ball game thus far. The and in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Here comes the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one.
Swing and a blooper to the right side. Luplo moving in. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Now battle, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Hit in the air to center field. Martin on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting. Next up for the Red Sox, for Christian yeah. Vasquez. Vasquez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Come on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at 1. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. And he fouls this one off. Ground ball left side. Ramirez is there. Throw to Bowers is going to be in time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Leonis Martin. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Two and oh. Two and oh. Three and oh now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And that's over. Three and one. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The next three, two. Another one sent foul. The next three, two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Bogarts to his left. He's there. Oh, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. 
And that's a heck of a job by the shortstop right there for him to range, at least get to that ball and show his pitcher with a diving stop. He's willing to get dirty all day long. Wasn't able to complete the play, but the effort was there. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back in standing. In now, Jordan Luplo. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now I back. guarantee you every release no, point he back. wanted to pull this pitch yeah. back. Change up middle of the no, plate no. usually gets deposited in the seats. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And he's going to come get his starter here. So that'll be all this evening for David Price. So he'll leave with the lead can't lose this one but he is responsible for the two runners out there so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Really Ryan Brazier wait. comes on now, now and he'll take over off. with nobody out in inning number, number seven. seven. Ready now, Jake Bowers, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. From the stretch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Brazier has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. Translation, he's better than league average in that category. The 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Digging in, Kevin Ploiecki. And guys, this is clearly one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame so far. Yeah, Matt, base is loaded. They're looking to finally get that clutch hit that's kind of been elusive all day. They've had some hits, but they just haven't hit when it mattered. First pitch coming. Here it is. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The pitcher has to find a way to minimize damage here. Maybe take two outs for one run. Who cares? Get a double play, pop up, strike out, something to get you back in this inning. Hot shot on the ground is short. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the run will score from third to make this a three to two ball game. That's just your classic ribby knock right there, Dan. He's able to turn on the pitch he wanted right there and drive it into the outfield. Good job getting the barrel to the ball right there, able to get that one through. It picks up an RBI, hard hit, and a well-deserved run batted in. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Mike Freeman. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball is in there for strike one. A 
I'm set with the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. There's one. Throw to first is not in time. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game. Yeah, that's always a tough turn because it usually takes a long time to develop. And someone has to go over to first to cover. This time, they just get the one. Coming to the plate now, Bradley Zimmer. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call there. Third, that base. takes some serious stones okay. to call the suicide squeeze this Rob late Hitler. in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. Up he's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances Francisco. with the next guy in the lineup. Lindor. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. But this is right to Pedroia, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. The Tribe lead this one four to three. Adam Simber has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 90, Adam Simber. Riding in for Boston, Andrew Benintendi. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. up Bowers moving to his left and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning the batter number 50 at the plate eight. Dustin Pedroia Justin. it was a fly out for him in his last trip first pitch of the at bat on its way good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Man, you find yourself down 0-2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Martin is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out.
Now digging in, Mookie right Betts. Here. He scored after reaching on a single in his yeah. last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Lays oh. off one and zero. Oh. Four three. Our score here as we play the eighth. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. They still trail it here four to three. Alex Claudio is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58, Alex Claudio. And is the second baseman Jason Kipnis in previous meetings with Alex Claudio. He's one for five. The second baseman, Jason Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and that misses for ball one. Claudio, the former Ranger, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. The 1 0 home. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. I got a ball, one strike. The one-one is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Leonis Martin waits on deck. And the sinking fastball called strike three. And that's out number one. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff the men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth Play inning of a one-run game, that's Marty. a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping into the box, Leonis Martin. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Ball one. One out, nobody on. Grounded to short. Bogart has it. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. The Digging in to try it again. Go Jordan Luplo, two for three Luplo. with a double on his line so far. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Behind 0 2 now. Two out, nobody on. Just a touch outside, one and two.
The one two is a ball nope, below the zone. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Slow roller down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again 3 and 2. change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Indians go down one two three but they hang on to a one run lead four to three. Your Brad Hand please. comes out of the bullpen to shut things down two. here in the ninth. Number 33. Brad. Brad. J.D. Martinez will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch on its way. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Hand is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. The count now at two and one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. him up and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one now that that's exactly what up. they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone they took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it so that was an easy pop out well executed pitch there Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Oh and one, here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The third baseman. Red Sox down to their final out now. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for a strike. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. What an unbelievable at bat right there in the ninth inning. Game on the line to get yourself on base. To create an opportunity for your boy right here to be a hero. Yeah. 
Into the box now, Brock Holt. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. All right, Dan, as a former closer right here, you get two quick outs in the ninth inning, and then you give up back-to-back -back knocks. Are you one pitch away? What are you telling yourself? You know, sometimes the hardest thing to do, D-Row, is to get that one, two, three, ninth inning, two base hits in a row right now. This is where you really have to make some good pitches. It's never easy pitching the ninth inning, and this is an indication of that right here. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. A hey, nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow got under it and it sailed on him a little bit. The set and the one one. Oh and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. And now this crowd announced that around thirty three thousand come to their feet. Strain the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second, and the winning run helplessly at first. Could have gone either way, but we were treated to a great battle. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Cleveland jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Oliver Perez earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Brad Hand closes the door for the save, his 34th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.